there was well over 100 that could have came to Tuesday or Friday camp and only about eight came on Tuesday. <laughs> so it's going to be a full night tonight. Okay, and we have to keep moving to get through all the companies and get through all the, all the ideas. <clears throat> so first instruction is this. Uh, if you can see Jen Paparazzi, she's, she's in my top uh, left-hand corner. I don't know where she looks, where she is for you, but she's my poster child. She's got Jen Paparazzi. I need your first name and then your company name right beside your first name. The way you do that is you go down, you find where it says participants, you find your name and click on it and you'll find an edit button. And then that way, and not your like, you have a cute name for your company that's great but i don't know that it's if it's paparazzi or something you know what i mean like it needs to say the company you represent okay so first name and then your company you've got emails and messages from us and hopefully you've opened them there are pdfs we will record it um so hopefully you have those printed off. If you don't, it's not a huge deal. You can totally just take notes on a blank sheet of paper. It's not, they're, they're not super, there's not like tons of content. It's just basically a place to organize your thoughts. Okay, so um, some like for ads class and stuff, you definitely wanna have the PDFs printed off um, uh, because anyway, because there's like very specific things you're following there, okay? Um, if you're hopping on, make sure you're muted pretty please, if you would uh, do that. Um, I have a feeling y'all know Rihanna better than you know me now. <laughs> she does all the 101 and I do more of the um, mini chat coaching. <laughs> if you don't know her, Rihanna, wave. I'll let you introduce yourself just real quick, just in case someone didn't actually know you. I'm not sure how that'd be possible. Yeah, I'm a real person, not just on the webinars. So I see lots <laughs> of my good friends on here too. We haven't seen Kayleen in so long. Gosh, your scrapbook looks amazing organized there. So yes, any of the seven, I call them all 101 classes, but any of those seven classes, uh, they you get to come and see me on Mondays during the day or on Monday nights. You gotta come. It's the place to get really, really good help. Roberta's my good friend, and Tammy and Jen is my good friend. Trying to see who else is on another. I have to look at another screen. Denise, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes. Melissa, you're on screen too. I just found my teammate, Melissa. We're on the same team together. Yes. Very fun. Sue, my friend. So it's good to have you all here. Be ready to take notes. Be ready to find people to pair up with. Use the chat. Utilize the chat. Brianna is my second brain, and I'm not kidding you. There are so many things she goes, I did this, I did that. And I'm like, <laughs> good thing you remembered. <laughs> like seriously, there are things I can do because she thinks the things I don't think, uh, seriously, y'all are so much better taken care of because of her. I am the idea girl and then Rihanna like, oh, she makes things happen. Anyway, she's awesome. Okay, so um, she's in South Karen Dakota. Karen says I'm tough. <laughs> You're tough? You today, I praise you all day today during our one on one, Karen Price. <laughs> What's funny is, is Royanna has got tougher over the last year and a half because we yeah, both. You're lucky like, you didn't have Michelle, Karen. She would rip some band aids off, right? I, I joked with her today about ripping the band aid off with somebody. <laughs> Michelle would rip the band aid off, girl. Oh, gosh, yeah, I'm no, anyway, I'm a little bit like in, in the middle now. Now and then, Maria is like, Michelle, you can't let that person do that yet. She's got to take this class first. I'm like, okay. Michelle's anyway. the professor, and I'm the elementary school teacher because I was a K3 librarian. <laughs> That's how we decide who we are. <laughs> Here we go. I know. And I wanted to be a professor in, in, um, in economics. Anyway, I'm a total nerd. Okay. So, um, in case you didn't know, I live in Southern Washington, which is where like, if you get a Washington apple, that's where the Washington apples are from. It's a desert here. They pull the water off the Columbia. My husband's in agriculture and it looks nothing like Seattle. You would never think, oh, that place is in Washington. No, there's no trees, 300 days sunshine, doesn't rain here. Not what you expect. Anyway, it's lovely, awesome. Okay, <laughs> so we are gonna have a ton of fun today. 
and your brain is going to be delightfully tired when we're done. Okay. Um, I want you, if this is your first time on a, on a, a camp, a, an engagement camp, please put in the comments, this is your first time here. Okay. I know several of you, it's not. <clears throat> Those of you that's your second time here, you're gonna have a lot more fun than the first time because now you know what to expect. Um, okay, and then those of you that have been here forever, they will like totally help you and support you in just getting the most out of this. So if it's your first time here, I really need you to like, who's Raba? You know, like take a deep breath because it's a lot to take in. Get out of it what you can. Okay. Like you're, you're not going to be a question queen at the end of it. You're going to be question princesses. Okay. Like it's all good. Um, but try not to take yourself too seriously. Like get out of it where you can. We do move kind of fast. Um, but we go from company to company. So you have kind of time in between while well, we're not talking to your company to like put down ideas and, and, and those kind of things. Okay. So maximize your time. Do stay like half tuned in when other companies are brainstorming because I promise you, you'll get a really cool idea from somebody, I'm so sorry, from a different company, okay? So just understand that. Like, it's really surprising what idea Pampered Chef will give 31 gifts, what idea, you know, paparazzi will give Ruby ribbon. Like it's just, it's fun. Okay. Oh, and Miss Amanda, you're sharing screen girl. Uncheck that button girl. It's a red button. It'll say stop screen share. Okay. So, um, you're just playing with your button pusher. Huh? No, I'm just teasing you. You're all good. Um, now make sure that you make friends with people in your same company. So what I'll do is I'll give you some instruction and then I'll say, okay, now we're going to work with this specific company on that idea. So we'll do all the Pampered Chef together and all 31 gift together, okay? So find your girls or that sell something similar. So we'll do all jewelry together, even if you're not the same company. Um, we will do, does that make sense? So make sure you chime in and get ideas um, and make sure that you've changed your thing to have your first name and then your company behind it, okay? Super important that you do that, all right. Um, Rihanna, if you have a hot second, make uh, put the group. There's a fantastic group for you to brainstorm in. It's a really great place to put your ideas. This chat gets shut down. Now there is a way you can totally download the chat. If there are, are there three dots for everybody else or just me? And the chat, let me get it to pop up for everyone. When you open the chat, at least for me on a computer, the chat's over here on the right hand side. On the right hand side on the bottom, there's a button that says more. Um, and you can click save chat. So it, but we'll, we'll warn you, make sure you save the chat if you want to save the ideas in there. Um, but when I shut down the thing, it, the chat will be gone. Even, you know, when we take a break and come back, everything you've put in there will be gone. So you can download it, but the group's a really great place to put your ideas so that you all can like brainstorm on them together. That's a great um, place to, to use that too. And if you haven't joined the group, I or Oriana will go in there and approve you as the day goes on. Okay. Sound good. All right. We will take two. We say water in, water out, pee and fill your water bottle or whatever your, you know, beverage you consume um, breaks. So they're not terribly long. <laughs> that also gives, um, kind of breaks us up. So it's easier to watch the recording versus one big five hour. And we're in the heck did you talk about that? Okay. So let me give you a big picture scenario here. So what we're going to help you do is, is build what we call a five day series or week long series of content. I'll explain to you a little bit more what that is. Each company, we will brainstorm with you a total of three times. One time will be just sharing content, putting questions, getting more engagement, helping people see the value of one product really well over a week. The next time we'll do it again and we'll add creating 
um, scripts for lives that get more engagement. I can't imagine you've been here without, you're here without of being on, of being on one of my webinars. You know that I get a lot of comments on my webinars. Y'all want a lot of comments on your lives. Or if you haven't started doing lives, when you start doing lives, you want a lot of comments, right? <laughs> so, hey, by the way, Yvonne, when you mess, uh, send a message, it says, hi, Papa Sisters, and it only went to me. To change your setting to everyone instead of just Michelle? Because I bet everyone wants to meet you and not just me, even though I'm pretty lucky, okay? All right. <laughs> then the third time we do it, we're going to brainstorm about the, um, so every time we do this, we do a totally different theme. The third time we do it, we do it also creating, brainstorming about how to create an event. And I'll tell you the perks to doing events on your business page and why that's so beneficial and helps to get to move your friends from your personal profile to your business page and use that more effectively. Okay. So there'll be three go rounds. And everybody's like, got to stay on task, okay? Um, it's a good idea, especially paparazzi, to kind of have a spokesperson because I'm just going to tell you, you're not all going to get to be able to brainstorm out loud so I can hear it. You can brainstorm like crazy in the chat and in the group. But to get to everybody, that won't be totally doable, all right? Uh, last thing is we will have a place for you to do a testimonial. And we have some awesome, awesome, awesome specials um, just for campers. Like if you thought about doing mini chat or some other stuff like that. And if you make any purchases today, your name does go into a drawing for a $50 gift certificate for upcoming opportunities. Okay. All right. So, and then, um, yeah. All right. So let's get started. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, I don't read the chat a whole lot. Rihanna is kind of my second, kind of is, is the eyes on that. I'll just be honest with you. Then I have gals like Jen or Joy that have been here a while and they'll help answer questions too when they see them. Um, but I can't talk and read at the same time. I'll just be totally real with you. Okay. <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not that good. All right. So let's talk about this five day series thing and hopefully you're starting to meet each other. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about where this came from and how we created this and why and the amazing benefits to it. Okay. So a couple of years ago, um, when Facebook lives first started, um, one of my clients, she was really great about doing lives with her makeup tutorials. She was with a um, uni. <laughs> and as I watched, there was this like question that came up in my brain. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder how much of her sales is repeat sales versus brand new sales. So this was a thought that I was pondering on my heart. And as I was pondering on that heart, I started researching. You know, you go to Google, right? That's where we research now. Went to Google and I'm like, repeat sales. How do you get repeat sales? What are the perks of repeat sales? Like, uh, just anything I could find about repeat sales. And I found this awesome article that talked about how, okay, what's your favorite like catalog company? Like I, my mother-in-law like always got lands in, but lands in pajamas for all the kids for Christmas. That, that was her thing. Um, what's your, you know, maybe it's Victoria's Secret. Like what else is there? So think about your catalog, your favorite catalog sales. My husband loves Eddie Bauer. Um, I mean, they still sometimes have stores, but you know what I mean? Like there's those catalog companies, right? Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to look up some of these. Okay. So, and then, or even some of your other ones, like online, I don't know if any of you, I love Rothy shoes. You know, Rothy shoes are the ones that are made with them. Um, Jen, you got some? Got us. No, you should get some. I'll send you the little $20 coupon thing. Cause there's, there's never any sales on them ever. Okay. So Rothy shoes, anyway, they're made out of recycled water bottles and I've never had a single blister with them and they're super comfortable. They're not cheap, but they can be thrown in the washer and they wash up really nice. Anyway, okay. doesn't matter. I'm not trying to sell Rothy's, but my point is this, after I bought one pair, girl, I was buying more like way faster. It took me forever to buy that first pair. 
And then after that, like my kids are like, you went and got purple ones now? They're like, oh my gosh, mom, how many of those pairs of shoes do you need? Okay. So it's that first purchase and y'all are going to like, you're going to be like, oh, like when I say this, that person that buys their first pair of earrings and a matching necklace, that person that buys their first cloth, that person that buys their first, you know, spatula or some nifty tool from Pampered Chef, that person that buys their first cami, even it was funny because I referred someone to Royanna for a swimsuit. She'd commented something about where do you get nice swimsuits and I tagged Rihanna. We both did happen to know her. And um, so I was asking her, I'm like, she, she could see that the camis could be a good idea. She's like, well, I'm going to get the swimsuit first. And I'm like, I know you'll be back. Like, it's all good. Has she, you know, what I'm talking about, has she got camis yet? I'm just curious, Rihanna. She'll tell me in a second. She's freezing. Anyway. So, um, that first purchase is always the hardest purchase to get them off that that edge and like finally make that purchase you got to understand right like really five dollar bling five dollar bling is going to be you know not crap it's not going to fall apart like i'm glad i got this and then they get it and then what do they do the next time they buy five pieces and then 10 pieces and then 20 pieces and they're buying it from their friends and family and they're sharing your lives right but the first one, how many of y'all have had this said? I've been watching your lives for a while now. It's the first time I finally bought something. Okay. Do you know how many of you y'all have said that to me when we're messaging you and <laughs> helping you get your first program purchase? I've been watching you a while. I'm like, I know. That's why we go live every week because we know it takes several, sometimes several times before some of you buy. Some of you are like, oh no, I bought the first time. Others of you are like, no, it took me about a year and a half whatever. It's all good. We love you no matter when you come in. Okay. <laughs> but the first purchase is the hardest. After that, super easy to sell them another cloth, a thing of paste, laundry detergent, super easy to sell the next color cami. The next gen I know has a lot of products from Oriana. She'll tell you what you should wear on the bottom. Okay. Um, after you get that bling, easy peasy to get them to buy. Oh, that's beautiful. No problems. Five bucks. Like they don't even think about it. Not even a thought, right? Done. But they're like, oh, ooh, I get free shipping if I buy X amount. And then they bump that up. Like we hate shipping, right? Okay. So y'all see what I'm saying, right? So this is what I'm studying. So this is what they found. The second purchase goes up by 25%. Third purchase goes up by 40%. The fourth purchase goes up by 50% and they're telling your friends and family about it. So would that mean that would be a good idea to invest some time in making sure you get repeat sales? Why do you think you get catalogs from the company you bought from before? Because they know you like it. They know you've tried it. They know you're kind of sucked in and you'll buy it way faster than trying to get in front of a cold market. You, okay, so hear me with, you like, oh, Michelle loves this and wants to help us, okay? When you come to me and you say, I need new customers, I'm going to make, I'm, this is a rip a bandaid off kind of thing, not real hard, but I'm going to make you back up and go, but wait a minute, what have you done to get in front of your past customers? Because it's way easier to increase your sales with your past customers if there's people who haven't seen you for a while than it is to get in front of brand new customers. Did that make sense? Like, give me like a thumbs up or a head nod. I'll say it one more time. If you try to tell me, I need new customers, I need new customers. And almost all of you have a brand new catalog, brand new products, brand new, just whatever. I'm going to say, girl, no, um, no. The first thing you need to do is get back in front of your past people. And those people will help you get in front of their friends if you take care of them right then you don't have to spend money and energy on doing things that are more like cold, whether it's cold prospecting or cold Facebook, you know, ads or whatever it might be. Did that kind of sink in? Could you kind of feel what I meant by that? Okay. So I'm not trying, I swear, I'm not trying to be mean. I really like have your best interest to heart, time, energy, money, all the things, right? That we have to put into this. The best 
thing you need to do is get in front of your people again. There's not a single one of you, including myself, that has messaged every one of your past customers in the last two weeks and really has nobody that's an old client that you couldn't reach out to. <laughs> None of us are that efficient. <laughs> all right. It would be great if we were, but we all know we're not. All right. We're doing the best we can. It's all good. So we can get in front of our past people and that's what this whole process is about. Okay. Is what it's first about, but it'll get shared and it will also get you in front of friends of friends and help you find new people. Okay. But focus on your old people, your current and past clients first. Does that make sense? Can you give me some thumbs up that like that, <clears throat> like hearing that and why that, that makes sense. Okay. Do I want you to get new customers? Absolutely. And you will get new customers. Okay. Don't feel like I'm like saying you don't need to focus on that. But in my opinion, your first focus is repeat. Okay. All right. So with that, how do you spell that shoe? Rafi. Look, these need to be thrown in the washer really bad. R-O-T-H-Y-S. I should go get the, like the little $20 coupon thing and send it to y'all. Okay. Anyway, I love these shoes. They're awesome. Um, and I have wide feet and I get blisters easy. Anyway. Okay. doesn't matter. Okay. I'll quit selling. Sorry. Okay. So with that being said, um, when I started this five day series, it was based on a couple, um, advertising. What do I call those? Like, um, advertising laws, I guess you could say, or theories. First of all, it takes five to 10 touches before people take action, sometimes more. Okay. Um, I, I always think of this scenario for some silly reason, but so I'll tell you how old I am. Does anybody remember when Oprah was on at 4 p.m. every day, like on a regular television show? I don't know how to find her anymore. <laughs> sure, she's someplace. You do, I do see her on Facebook now. But, you know, 4 p.m. every day, I, I was, I was Oprah girl, okay? And I would see that pizza commercial three times during that one, you know, from 4.30 to 5, you'd see that same pizza commercial. You want pizza, don't you? Hey, girl, you want pizza. Girl, you don't want to get up and make dinner. Let's make pizza. You know, let's get pizza, right? Over and over again. That was always my silly scenario I think back at. Same thing with you guys. You need to show your products over and over again before they finally like get off and like make that purchase, okay? So that's why we want to focus on one product or I'll tell you more about like one problem, five solutions. Most of the time, one product Hang in there, paparazzi. I have a better explanation for you. You'll you'll be okay. You'll be like, I can't focus on my bear earrings all week. It's not quite what I mean. I'll explain it more in a second. But one product or one like style of product, you might do all things pearls, okay? All week long because it'll get people off the fence and they'll try something new. So another thing I need you to think about is this. You have a whole heap load of products in your line. If you're a traditional party plan, you show your most purchased 10 to 20 products during the party, then you've got a couple hundred other products that you know people could buy, but you're not really taking a lot of time to show because the party would last three days if you showed them all and that's not okay. <laughs> okay. So that's why you create these week long series because after 52 weeks, you showed quite a few really awesome products that you never would have shown in a party and you're upselling to people who've already bought from you. They say yes quickly because they're past customers, right? And now they'll buy the mop and they'll buy the hand towel and they'll buy, you know, these other things, okay? Then the last one is this. The more value people see in one product, the more likely they don't feel it's expensive and will invest in it, okay? Joy knows exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to, she's, they've got a couple higher end products now with their air fryer and their mixer blender, their Vitatech, what, what is, what are they calling it, Joy? What's the actual name? So sorry. It's a deluxe cooking blender and the deluxe air fryer. And we also have a pressure cooker too. Oh, there we go. So they're not, but they're invested, they're great investments. But for a lot of families that they're, you know, she's not just going to write a check and not think about it. She's going to have to think about her budget and when she's going to get it, or she's going to have a party to get it, et cetera. Okay. So, 
um, the more they see the value in it or the different ways to use it, where it, et cetera, the more likely they are to purchase it. Okay. So those are all the concepts and probably there's more than that, but those are some of the concepts we're focusing on when we make this five day series. All right. So the first five day series I did was actually with a gal that was with Norwex and we took her laundry detergent and over the week we showed like, I don't know, it could have been 20. I know it was at least five. It was five, 10 or 20 ways to use the laundry detergent and all the fabulous things that it does. If you don't have it, you can talk to Sue. I don't know if there's anyone else Norwex on here. It's an awesome sauce. Okay, you love it. <laughs> so we took that, stretch it out over five days and showed all the cool things that you could do with it in her group. She had a Facebook group that was basically dead. Had about 300, nah, it was about 300 people. I'm thinking it was maybe 250. She would post specials in it now and then. She had, th this group was dead. We posted about laundry detergent all week long, all the cool things it did, <clears throat> added our question queen skills to it, made sure we had questions. Who does the laundry in your house? What's, um, what's most likely, to, or what's the last stain you got on your carpet? Um, how many car seats are in your car? Because they were all things that you could clean with it, right? And by the end of the week, people messaged her and ordered enough product to call it a party. And she got Postus rewards and the commission from it. And they messaged her and she did that week after week and changing up the products in her group. Okay. Now that was a couple of years ago when pages were like, wah, wah, wah. pages are awesome now. Very pro pages. Y'all know that. Okay. And, and, and honestly, I even used to say, okay, but you probably need a group if you're like, um, pure romance or, you know, those kind of things that are more sexual. Now you can set it. So it only is shown to like 18, 19 and above. Cause I was like, don't be showing your sex toys to my 13 year old that can be, you know, that's allowed to be on Facebook. Well, Facebook pages can even be set with age restrictions. So then the 13 year olds don't see that you may still want to have a group, but you can make it a lot more appropriate for basically always using a Facebook page now. Okay. So lots of cool things there. I didn't see that we had any pure romance on, but either way, um, y'all know what I'm saying. The other thing is sometimes you have to be kind of careful what you say when it comes to health and wellness products. Um, so sometimes you have a group for that it kind of depends on how confident you feel you are in saying things in a way that keeps you out of trouble. You just can't make any um, health recommendations or help. You, anyway, Sherry totally knows what I'm already talking about. Okay. So you got to think those things through. All right. But most of the time I'm always going to say, girls, this should be on your business page, but it's totally cool. If you want to have a group and a page, post one theme on a page and then post it on your group in the next week. You don't need to come up with two themes for two different places. Just repurpose it in your um, other location the next week or two weeks later. Y'all know nobody sees all your posts in either your group, your page or your profile. It's okay. You can put it in both. No big deal. Okay. So you don't need to kill yourself. And there's so many of you here. Y'all should like be sharing ideas helping each other out with themes. So maybe you only do one theme. You have three other gals who do themes and you work together. Okay. Work smart y'all not hard. Work smart. Okay. Y'all with me. Is this, is this making sense? Is it resonating with you? You getting it? Okay. All right. So that's our big goal. So you can have one product, five uses. You can have one theme. So that like your paparazzi gals, that's more what we, you know, pearls, all things stone, all things acrylic, all things gender neutral. <clears throat> and we'll look at national day themes and that will help you come up with some other things, uh, different themes to do. Okay. Um, one problem, five uses. Like we used to do this. Uh, if you were like cleaning out your master closet, we'd have like, you know, organizing your master closet, one problem, five solutions, 
for like 31 gifts or we used there's to be a company called clever container okay so um yeah joyce absolutely okay to post it in both places maybe not the same week maybe you move weeks but um yeah it's totally okay um, I honestly, for most of you, I think you're just splitting your algorithms by having a group and a page. Okay. I, I, I it's just poor Oriana. She's like, Michelle, we have a lot of people in our group we could do something with. I'm like, yeah, but on my page, it gets shared and it's public and everybody sees it and they share it far and wide. And, and I, I do, I have a hard time putting a lot of energy into my group. I'll admit it. Um, but you all see why? Cause it's not public and those kind of things. All right. So this is our goal, is that you come up with some themes that we can base a whole week's worth of content around. Sometimes it's just fun. Um, last month we had, it was like fruit cocktail or something. So the paparazzi girls were doing all berried colored one day and all citrus colored one day and all like, they were just gonna have fun with it and make it silly, okay? That's okay to just be silly. Some of you though have more of an added value kind of feel. Cleaning is more added value, meaning you have some tips and tricks. And y'all that are jewelry, you need to think outside the box and you need to think added value. I've sold jewelry, so I know what it looks like. Rather it's organizing and traveling with it, learning how to layer it, learning how, you know, what's the best thing for each, each face shape. Um, how do you look 10 pounds thinner? when you're picking your jewelry. There's lots of added value stuff to go along with jewelry. And then um, people come back and keep talking when they're not necessarily buying that week. Okay, now I know y'all are gonna tell me you have a few ladies that buy every single week and can't possibly figure out what they're doing with all that jewelry. It's not enough to sustain your business. Don't tell me that, because I will rip a bandaid off and go, girls, no, 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 okay? You gotta have something for them to talk about other than the word sold in between your lives and new releases. Seriously, okay? Super important that you make it fun on your page and conversational and not just buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. I mean, I've seen every company do that, okay? You've got to mix it up, go, hey, here's a little bit about me, tell me about you, okay? Make it fun. Make it a place that it creates a community. Okay. Does this make sense? All right. And then the last thing is you got to put your crown on. Got to put that crown hat on girls. Okay. <clears throat> and you've got to add a question to every single post. So as we start doing this and I say, we're going to create the perfect post. Okay. So we work from bottom up when I explain this. The bottom thing is your image, your live, your video, slideshow, all sorts of things. Anything that's just visual, before and after, okay? You've got your visual at the bottom of the post. The first, the text right above it will be like some added value, tips, recipes, stuff like that. Then the thing on the very top, the very first text, like if you're scanning like this, the very first thing they should see is a fun, engaging, one button response question. Okay, now there's a lot of people here for the first time. So let's talk about this just a little bit in depth. Okay, my three favorite, and you'll be like, oh, I've heard her do these on webinars. Scale of one to 10. <laughs> don't wanna, you're so funny. Scale, you don't have a poker face, girl. Don't be going to Vegas, because you just, <laughs> Um, scale of one to 10, how many days a week, multiple choice, multiple choice needs to say A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four. All of these are one button responses or comment this word because then, and try to keep it under five characters. Have y'all heard me say these things like 5,000 times if you've been on a couple webinars? Okay. Every post has a question, every single post. Okay. Try to make it one button response. You can change it up and do scale of one to five. You can change it up and only have either or, A or B. It doesn't have to have four choices on the multiple choice. You can change it up and say how many times a month or how many times a year. It depends on if that makes sense. It needs to be a number under 10. Like 
how many times do you fly in an airplane a year? It's probably under 10. Maybe some of you it's not, but especially right now, but you know what I mean. Okay. So if you're counting how many times do you do X, Y, Z in a time period, that number should be under 10. If it's like 30, you need to shorten it down. If it, maybe it's how many times a day do you reapply your lipstick? Okay. Needs to be a number under 10. So that, that can kind of move around. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Like Lucy was close to my heart. She could literally ask, how many times a day do you pull out your phone and take a picture of your kids? Okay. It's hard to have an exact number. So it might be zero to five, five to 10, 10 plus. Okay. Because she's preserving memories, right? So that might actually turn into a multiple choice question, but still, you kind of see where I'm going with this. The one thing you don't do, we always have someone does this, correct me up. Uh, no, how do they do this? On a scale of one to 10, how many days a week do you clean your bathroom? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, the, <laughs> look at your question, okay? <laughs> Scale of one to 10 measures how much, how many days a week measures how often. Don't mix the two questions. It's really funny. There's always someone who does that. <laughs> Read your question. Okay. And here are the words it should never start with. Do ya? Because that's going to be a yes, no question. Who here likes? No. Shouldn't start with who. Shouldn't start with do. Okay. Do ya? Where are my people who like, no. Anything that involves a yes, no, or I call it a raise your hand, doesn't work on social media. Okay, so here's the thing. Joy, were you doing a lot of home parties um, before, like when you first started a pamper show? Okay. So Joy knows if she's doing like a taco recipe, okay, and she says, girl, so she's looking out at her people, you know, she's back behind the counter and she's cooking for everybody. And she's making this awesome guacamole in her manual food mixer, right? Okay, I own everything y'all sell. So anyway, she's making her guacamole, right? She's like, girls, I gotta know, how many of you love uh, lime in your guacamole? And people are gonna raise their hand and be like, I love lime, yeah, yeah, I like garlic, no, I hate lime, and there'll be this little chatter. If you say, how many of you like lime in your guacamole on Facebook, it feels rhetorical and they hit like and you're not really sure what they're thinking. But she says, what do you put in your guacamole? Lime juice, what do we put in ours? Lime, uh, jalapenos, uh, garlic, other, because somebody's gonna tell you some like crazy thing they like to put in and nobody else does and they have to tell you all about it and it's really great for your algorithms. You're like, tell me more, <laughs> okay? Give them the other option. Let them tell you their life story. All right. So you cannot phrase things the same way you did when you were talking to people that you could see their face because you said their you see their head nods, or head nods, or you saw their eyes get kind of big or their shoulders they kind of leaned in or they go uh huh. None of that happens on Facebook. None of it. There is no body language and it gets you all in trouble all the time. You didn't even know it. You've got to have things. You, you have to pull their body language out by the way you rephrase things. You can't say things on social media like you do when you're looking at people's faces. If you were big booth and expo people, Roberta can tell you. <laughs> she had a revamp. She was doing all face-to-face -face events with booths and expos. Now she's like, she's our Facebook page queen, okay? You have to think about it. And I'm sorry, but especially if you, if you grew up like, okay, Sue, I love you, but we all know you're not 25. You're gorgeous though. You're not 20. She knew how to sit and talk face-to-face -face with people and go have coffee with people. Like that's what she grew up with and then getting on the phone. There's a bunch of people that like don't know how to do that anymore. So now they didn't grow up with interpersonal skills and they're doing it on social media and they're just messing it up in two ways. We've got to turn your good interpersonal skills into the right ways to say things on social media so it actually gets you where you want to go. Can y'all feel that? Does that make sense? Okay. 
it doesn't work to ask yes no questions on Facebook. Just straight up doesn't, okay? Nor rhetorical, nor guilt ridden. Sue doesn't get to say, so how much do y'all want to get all those nasty cleaners out of your house? Uh uh, that does not work, okay? We have to say a little bit different. Hey, if there was one product in your house that you wondered if there's a natural solution for, which of them would it be? We start slow, we give them step by step, okay? Y'all see where I'm going with that? Okay, like it would be really fun to say, what is the color you absolutely will not wear? And just see if you could find like the perfect yellow for them or the perfect green for them. Like have some fun and just go, why do you hate that color? Why are you not comfortable with it? And, you know, see if you can help them get outside their box a little bit. Just to have some fun. And they may like, no way, never, never, never not wearing that color. That's okay. It's just fun. It's people talking. Okay. Are you kind of getting the big picture here? Making sense? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do <coughs> is we are going to start with our national days. Uh, da -da. I'm going to give you that link real quick. You, I'm sure you have it also from the um, message that we sent. All right. And what, let me share screen. And um, I am going to start with paparazzi just because there's a lot here and um, it's, it's easy place examples. So while you're all looking at the calendar. So on the national calendar, you click on uh, calendar at a glance and that will give you all the months. We'll be focusing on August. Um, so I'm going to click on August. And when you click on August, there will be four things in here. There'll be national days national weeks, national months, and international days, okay? Don't go so far off the grid. Don't have national peanut butter day and try to make a jewelry thing around that. It doesn't make sense and it's too far, like when you read it, it doesn't make sense. Like people need to make the connection easily, okay? Don't go so far off the grid. Um, not like you're gonna have a ton in here that say national pearl month, but yeah, just try to have them somewhat closely connected. So you're gonna open what, each one of these and you're just gonna just have some fun brainstorm. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, that would be fun. And you just go through, okay? And you just write a couple down. You're not gonna use all of them. And you know what? You don't have to use a national day every week, okay? We have back to school coming up. You definitely should be doing something back to school, every one of you, no matter what your product is. Okay, that's in the air, right? Um, then you're gonna have Memorial Day sneak up on you real quick. So um, that's something that you can think about, whether it's kind of patriot, patriotic or red, white, and blue, or camping or traveling or that kind of stuff, okay? Um, those are things you should think about. National Shapewear Day, how lucky did you get, Miss Rihanna and Melissa? I'm getting better than that for my Ruby Ribbon girls. Okay, so you're just gonna glance through those. You're gonna find a couple you like. We won't get a chance to talk about all of them. Okay, but hopefully you'll learn the process. We will do one for each company three times, like I talked about at the beginning. Um, so it's really important that you chat and you decide on one theme. When I say, okay, Pamper Jeff, what theme did you decide? Whoever speaks up first, that's what I'm going with. And we gotta like move along, okay? My crafty girls need all work together. Um, if there's more than one health and wellness, I haven't like looked at everybody's name super close. Um, but just realize like, if we've done your company that one time, you need to wait till, you know, we just, we just gotta work together smart, okay? All right, y'all with me on that? Does that make sense? Okay. So, are you getting excited about this? I hope you're like, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. All right. Why not brown and peanut butter day? Well, if possibly you could do that. I'm just saying, don't, you know, you got to make it as obvious as possible. 
Yes, National Girlfriends Day. Um, the other thing to note is we did do this on Tuesday um, and you will have access to those videos too. And you can go back and watch that and see all my ideas. One day I need to hire someone to just watch those and write down every question I come up with because every time I still, believe it or not, I still come up with questions. I'm like, why hadn't I thought of that question before? You guys inspire me to come up with um, fun ideas. Okay. <laughs> um, what, why don't we do that, Jen? Let's start with National Girlfriends Day. Let me tell you kind of some of my list of girlfriend questions I came up with with that. Um, there was a mix of kind of um, jewelry and fashion and just getting to know ladies and their friends. All of you can use this theme, okay? Um, so it's definitely not just for paparazzi. Um, so those kind of things. I'm trying to think here. It would be fun to do a, I didn't think of this last, when we did this on Tuesday. If you're paparazzi and doing National Girlfriends Day, um, it would be fun to like spotlight pieces that are easy to like share, like rather it be matching necklaces or one person has red and one person has blue, or maybe there's more like stud type earrings and each of you are wearing one. Like, you know, if you have one ear, maybe it has, um, more holes than the other. You know what I mean? Where you don't necessarily have the same on both sides and one person has the earring, one person has the other. Um, I know like my son and his girlfriend each have a bracelet that um, one has a white one and has a black one. Um, anyway, he's been in Colorado. Anyway, you know what I mean? Just those little emotional things. So I think it'd be really fun to have a day of just like, here's great ways to use jewelry to connect with people you love, like as a sentimental kind of thing. Like that would be a really fun live. You may not do the whole live like that, um, but I think that could be something super, super fun to do. Um, you could even do it again around Memorial Day, just like if people have family members that are military, just something that keeps them connected because that jewelry, even if they hang it on something, maybe they can't wear it, but something that, you know, connects the two of you. So that could be a really fun, just kind of, and plus when they're buying two of things, right? Instead of one, that's not a bad thing, right? <laughs> okay. So that could be a fun kind of live. I don't know that I would do that for an entire week, or maybe you have like five or 10 items at the beginning of every live that like, hey, here's our sentimental pieces for the week. And you know, you show them the first part of your live and then go on to the, the rest of it um, with just your regular stuff that you would show. So you could do it that way. Oh yeah, lanyards. Little girlfriends, all of the girlfriends lose their masks, you're so funny. Oh, Labor Day versus Memorial Day. Sorry, I'm in the wrong month. Thank you. You're right. I get talking and sometimes like, Phew. all right. So here are a bunch of questions that I had for National Girls Day. It'll be fun to see Girlfriends Day, whatever it's called, um, which one of these that you like. So I asked things like, what form of communication do you use to stay in contact with your girlfriend? Facebook Messenger, text. Marco Polo, um, something else. Um, had things like, where's your favorite place to go eat with your girlfriend? Um, what kind of things do you like to go shopping for with your girlfriend? What kind of hobbies do you and your girlfriend do together? Um, what kind, what, um, what events or holidays do you buy gifts? What, okay. For your girlfriends, which of these holidays or events do you buy buy them gift buy gifts for them? There we go. Um, you know, Christmas, birthdays, just because Mother's Day, you know, something else. Okay, other. Um how much do you and your girlfriend like on a scale of one to ten, how much do your girlfriend swap um clothes or accessories? Or what do you and your girlfriend share? shoes, accessories, clothes, cars, husbands, no, I'm just kidding. 
Um, sometimes it's funny, <laughs> Mariana. Sometimes it's kind of fun to throw something comical in your multiple choice. It makes people stop and and say funny things with you. Um, Ryan is actually a little better at this than I am, but um, it's fun to throw just a very sarcastic multiple choice in there. I'm not it's sure fun. I would have ever said husband though. <laughs> <laughs> Why that popped in my head? I just was like. Credit card. Like, How about that one, ladies? Credit card. You know, if you got to make card. a secret purchase so the man at the house doesn't see it or the your partner yeah. at the house doesn't see it. I mean, I kept thinking, okay, should I say that one out loud? I'm like, why would I go there anyway? But totally to be say the husband tonight. as a joke and just see if everyone's paying attention. <laughs> right, <laughs> Lucy, yeah. exactly, and put a rooster next to it. A <laughs> uh, male rooster. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Right. All right, we better stop. I had another thing to say, but I'm stopping right now. Okay, Put I the pretzel in. <laughs> Sidetracked so fast here. Um, even like, are you more likely to have coffee, lunch, dinner, or dirt? You know, a uh, happy hour with your girlfriend could be fun. Um, how well do you know your girlfriend? friend do you know her best her favorite color her favorite show her favorite or, you know like tv show um how did you and your girl your best girlfriend meet do, have i hit you with enough girlfriend questions for one week yet <laughs> okay jen did you get those all on paper you're gonna like type them up and send them to me <laughs> i have images made of them um okay Jen's laughing. She's like been here so many times. She's like, I know what she's saying. I'm crazy. Okay. So do y'all kind of see how that works? So you can show bling and you know, so what if you were, um, do you have any, no, nah, maybe you don't. No. Okay. I won't go there with that idea. But um, the whole point is to get, you know, people just talking. And plus, you know how likely they are to tag their girlfriend. Oh, the other thing you could do is you could do a whole giveaway. If they tag their best friend, both, you know, they'll do a drawing and both them and their friend will get like three free pieces or something like that. Why do we do that? Because it gets more people on your business page. And you're only tag getting them to tag one person. Okay, so it's not like over the top and um, it would be kind of risky to run an ad on that. Some of you have taken my Facebook ads classes. You can't really say tag your friend in a post or an ad to. It probably won't get approved, but it's still good for engagement. <laughs> and you can try running an ad. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> Sometimes we get away with stuff. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's kind of funny. All right. So do y'all kind of, are you getting kind of the idea? Did you like the girlfriend's questions? I'm sure all of you can use those. All of you. Okay. Um, oh, maybe you like share each other's babysitters. Something about kids. Mm. Where, you know, where, um, are you... And then the other thing would be like travel. Where's a place you've like traveled or had a girl's weekend or something like that. Okay. All right, you love them. Which was your favorite? Oh, pet, yeah. Pets, girlfriends and pets. Those would get, that would be a commented on a lot. That's a very big, very big topic. Okay. So lots of things you can do there. Y'all, they got the crowns out. And my theory is they're going to be caught up in two weeks. That's my theory. I know nothing. I have no inside secrets. It's just my theory. Okay. I've seen how long it's been delayed. They had to get, so paparazzi just had their big convention and they sent out all these awards and it was a ton of shipping. I'm like, they're buying that shipping. <laughs> they just sent out everybody's crowns. Um, they're everyone and they had to do it. 
I'm like, I think they're going to cut, be cut up in the next two weeks. That's my theory. Oh, I'm sure. Well, okay. So I grew up in Utah. I know what that place looks like where they're all at. So I'm like, yeah, there's like hardly enough people to man those warehouses down there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> They'll get it figured out. I, my, my theory is too. So here's my thing. I'm serious. When you put it out there, this is what's going to be taken care of and fixed by this time. And you put that positive energy out there, you put it on a sticky note and you believe it, you're going to be shocked what happens. I, I swear to you, I've seen crazy things happen. So put it out there. They're going to get it all fixed, okay? Y'all are going to have more bling to sell in August and you know what to do with because you're so far behind in getting your stuff. But you're getting rid of old inventory, so I think it's awesome. It's a good excuse to get your old stuff out and make the best of it. Okay, all right. So y'all see where I'm going there, right? So my bling girls, you got one week. Check. Okay. Show pieces in multiple pieces um, and that kind of stuff. All right. Vintage. Okay. Call it vintage. Whatever works for you. All right. Okay. So let's do camera. Joy, you just went off camera. Are you available? Can we do Pamper Chef next? Just because I know that you know what you're doing. And then is I'm filling. I'm here. I'm just eating a donut. <laughs> Put the donut down and open your can. No, I'm teasing you. Um, is Keely Lane Jewelry Keely? No food. No it's scrapbook. What? What's wrong with me? It's scrapbooking. Yeah, she's she and Lucy are partners. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty teamed yeah. up. Yeah, we're already okay, teamed good. up. Yeah. Okay, then you two are next after um, food. And I know we're we got... on deck. We're talking baseball. Deck. Yes, we got Who's baseball. in the hole? Um, do you bake? Steph, I need you to team up with my Pamper Jeff gals. I know that we're going to have... Make sure that you've got your first name and then your company name behind it. First name, company name. I see a couple that I'm not sure... Here's my Tammy Pampered Chef here on my second screen. I wonder if there's any way like I can stretch this out on two screens and see everybody's faces. Um, then we'll do health and wellness and then we'll do 31 gifts. And then we'll need Norwex. I will have forgotten that by the time I get like halfway into this so somebody can remind me. Um, make sure you got your first name and your company name, please. Okay, make sure you edit that. Okay, all right. Pampered Chef, what theme are we going to start with? Um, we are going to start with um, the National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we've got an ice cream sandwich maker. We've got the ice cream <coughs> maker. Ice cream cake maker, so we can do all things ice cream. Are they back in stock? Last month they were not available. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Please tell me they're back in stock. Right? I mean, come on, it's the summer. Awesome. I know. It's like, uh, hello. All righty. Okay. Awesome. So some of the questions that we've come up with, um, were what's your favorite flavor ice cream awesome um how many days a week do you indulge in a frozen treat nice what's the most unusual thing you've put on your ice cream oh fun um do you prefer um ice cream sherbet sorbet or gelato okay What's your favorite ice cream topping, caramel, hot fudge, berries, fruit, or other? Okay. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like ice cream sandwiches? Nice. Do you prefer your ice cream hard or soft serve? Joy, you're like master. We've been working on this since we, <laughs> since we started. I put everybody in a group. <laughs> nice. So we've been, we've been churning these out for a little while. Awesome. Wendy, Tammy, Steph. I, yeah, I, I need I, to get I, Steph. I, Steph, I'll send you a, um, a 
I'll have to find you and send you a friend request so you can jump in awesome. on our little party. You guys are so good. That is, fa and y'all, can you, do you understand? Paparazzi, you can use all those questions just for fun questions on your page. Do you understand the value of being here and working with each other? Some of you are like, I want to work just with you, Michelle. And I'm like, okay, but there's a bunch of other really smart people I know. <laughs> okay. So like, I try to be super smart, but then, you know, y'all have these brains that I don't have. Okay. That is awesome. 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 So are you going to, which, what all products are you going to show in that week? We have the ice cream maker, the ice cream sandwich maker. Um, what is the ice cream feature sandwich maker? Like? Uh, yeah, we have the scoops and a paddle too. It's over on my shelf. I can grab it for you real quick if you like. <laughs> the scoops and but the it, paddle. Um, it's two silicone um, trays that you can put either brownie mix or um, just use like cookie dough and press in, bake that, and once it cools, you can fill it with ice cream and put the two halves together and stick it in your freezer. Are they square or round? Square. Oh, smart. Super cool. Smart, smart, smart. Love it. Okay, very cool. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I mean, you did awesome. I love it. Anything else, um, Wendy or Tammy or Steph, you want to add? No, I think we, we, we had a good round of questions that we put together. Perfect. Okay. You guys are killing it. Okay, so I want to know from each one of you, and you can put it in the chat, which one of those are you going to do a Facebook Live on? Joy's been doing a lot of lives lately. I've been seeing hers. Okay. So I want you committed to doing a live on either all the frozen products or frozen tools or at least one of them. Make sure you're going live. Okay. All right. Super important. Okie dokie. Okay. So I think I said we're doing Crafty Girls next, right? Um, actually, Kayleen had to pop out really quick to go talk to her husband, help him no something problem. something. So can we'll we come, come around? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we'll totally come back to you. Okay. Steph, I sent you a Facebook <laughs> message. Oh, you got it. Never mind. See, don't you love the chat? It's awesome. You guys are so cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and do um, health and wellness. Miss Sherry, do I have any other health and wellness besides Sherry that I'm, please forgive me, but it's, there's a lot of people to look at at once. I'm always a loner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring some friends. Come on. I know. <laughs> you got to come to this class with me. I like Young Living, Sherry. I use it. I, I know Yay. that doesn't help you, but if you're going to bounce ideas, you can message yes. me. I'll, I'll bounce ideas with you. <laughs> yes. Okay, All right, lady. That. Tell me your theme. Lucy. Okay. Um, so I have been working the last week. I've been working with some of my upline. I kind of help with their group and different things. So I am going to do back to school the first week. Um, and so I went through kind of the post that we're going to do there. And um, I don't even have all of them right here in front of me because I've kind of already made them and they're in another section. But um, so we're going to talk about back to school wellness, things we can do for our kids. And so we, we kind of walk through the day. Um, so each day, so we're going to talk about breakfast, getting your kids off for a good breakfast. Um, I think my question on that was, what does breakfast look like at your house? Um, then we're going to kind of talk about wellness. So is oh, that the question, what does breakfast look like at your house? Yes, I think I did. Oh, I don't have it in front of me. Um, so what can we do to make that a little bit more like a one button response? Because that could be kind of detailed and I'll pull that I'll pull that up in just a second and see what it is. And I'll come back to that one. Um, some of the others I did um, on a scale of one to 10. Um, how anxious are you about kids going back to school? 
that everyone's feeling pretty anxious right now. I've talked to lots of parents um, and I'm a teacher, feel the same way. Um, the other one is how are your children going back to school? A, public school, B, virtual school, C, homeschool. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, what, what were some of the other ones that I did? Oh, shoot. Um, so what products are you gonna connect this all to, hon? Um, so as we kind of go through the day, you know, we're talking about getting them off for a good breakfast. We have, you know, some breakfast cereals and proteins and um, type things. So we're putting that in there. Um, I'm putting in some recipes of like a wellness roller or some things that they can use to solve the problem for being anxious that they can send with their kids. Um, then we're talking about our Ningxia Red drink that's just good for antioxidants. We kind of walk through our day and then getting a good bedtime routine and talking about, okay, and I, that was one of the ones that I did. I said, okay, well, share a, get, uh, share a gif of what your bedtime routine looks like. I thought just for a little fun. And so then we talk about, you know, we've got bath shampoos, those types of things for bedtime, getting a good routine in and then diffusing at bedtime and getting a good night's sleep before they start their day. So it kind of walks through. So the whole week is really kind of walking through the day and giving some tips on back to school, you know, taking care Love of it. Um, yeah, and I had a recipe for like a, a focus roller, um, some of those types of things. Cool. Okay, awesome. Um, are, will, um, what are your feelings or what's your, um, what, what do you do with going live right now? I'm struggling on that, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting, I'm not doing really good with my questions and on when I should go live. And, um, I think I've kind of missed some of the beginning of some of these classes. So, so um, we, we're going to talk more about lives. Like, yeah, um, that's number two that we do. But I was yeah. just curious if you already had a plan to go live on e any of those topics. Not yet. Um, I, I'd like to. So I'd like to do that at least once a week that kind of goes through, you know, the theme for that week that relates it back to that. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do that. It seems like when I go live on my page, I've kind of neglected my page. And so I'm just not having a lot of interaction on that. Okay. So I have a hard time knowing, do I go live on my page? Not in my group, obviously. So anyway, yeah. Well, no, not obviously. I mean, you can go live on your page and share it in your group. You can go live in your group. You can even download it and post it again on your page. Like there's a lot sure. of different options. Sure. Okay. A lot of different options. That's where I really, I really want to focus on some of those things um, this month um, of trying to get some of those things down. Gotcha. Sounds good. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very cool. Okay. All right. So let's go to Norwex. All right, gals, what's your theme? Uh, excuse me. Um, I want to do uh, work like a dog, not. And I want to use, excuse me, I want to use the counter cloths. So on day one, it would be like, paper towels versus the counter cloths. Okay. Are we doing questions now too or not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, okay, uh, what's, what's the theme for the whole week again? Counter, wait a second, let me cough. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're okay, you all right? Yeah, I am. I just get flim caught. Um, counter are just like half the size of a, like even a third of the size of an Enviro, but people use them as napkins. So you have a different color for each person because they come in a set of five, I think. Um, they're good to clean kids' faces, like babies and kids, because they're smaller, so they, they fit that. They're um, terribly, um, or not terribly, but very, very um, absorbent. And then talking about like um, trees being destroyed by paper towels being used so much. Um, mm -hmm. Napkins, I was going to compare like 
paper napkins, cloth napkins, or like the counter cloth would work. And then yes. uh, uh, the uses dry or wet um, for some of the part of the last day, for example. Gotcha. Very cool. Nice job. Okay. And did you? I've got with... three questions. Okay. What Can other ways first... you want to use it? I in put one in there. Um... Is there a time lag? Would you put in there, Ms. Fonda? Um, what is the hours of your work? Because we're uh, wanting to not work like a dog. Eight to five, random night shift, 24 seven, stay at home, housewife. And then I put the statement in that after that question, we work like a dog at work and don't want to repeat when we get home, so there's more works. Cute, okay. <clears throat> awesome. All right, anything else? I was going to do um, like uh, maybe a demo with the idea of how much um, would one, how much water would one counter cloth absorb and make it multiple choice, like a half a cup. I have no idea what, how much I'll have to do this. What half a cup, one cup, one and a half cups, for example, as multiple choice. Gotcha. Yep. That's really good. <coughs> then, um, most of the only questions I've come up with uh, so far, I think the idea of using dry or wet, I would have to do some research to see what other consultants have come up with ideas of how to use it. Oh, she just sent, uh, she just sent me a, an image about kitchen towel holds this much and a kitchen cloth and the counter cloth. I need to change my amounts because it's a fourth of a cup. <laughs> gotcha, so, that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah, we use the ones that are replacement for paper towels. Like <laughs> there's always one sitting in our thing where we get water and ice, you know, out of the fridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always a mess and then it doesn't have like this white streak down the front of the fridge right. yeah. stopping up the water anyway so <laughs> we love it for that awesome very cool um i think there's some other things where you could kind of like talk about who's making the messes in your house so yeah. is it more likely to be a dog a pet spouse yourself that spills something um you could, what do you currently use to, to wipe up messes? A kitchen towel, you know, paper towels, let the dog lick it up. You know, you could have your little funny <laughs> one in there. Um, Roriana's like, good job, Michelle, because I never talk about dogs. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you could have some other stuff like that that right. makes people kind of talk more about their lives. Um, because it, you know, some of your questions are kind of like very, they're just a little, they're good and universal, um, but they're not kind of bringing out people's like personal lives very much. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Um, let's see what else. Um, well, this could be interesting. Uh, what is your favorite bev how could we say this? What's most likely to get spilt at your house because it's your favorite beverage? You know, water, coffee, wine. How could I, I feel like I'm not saying that quite as well as it could be said. Any ideas on that, Rihanna? But um, like I hardly ever care because we almost only drink water here. And you know what I mean? My kids have, and we almost always drink, I mean, I have like, I don't know how many of these water bottles. There's a lid on it. It's water. It's spilled. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. panic too much compared to some people. Whereas, you know, it was so funny the other day, Lexi. So we have a fridge out in our, we have like a shop and there's a fridge. Anyway, I didn't know this where she's like, mom, she came in with her head hung down. I dropped a gallon of milk and it broke open and I'm like, don't get mad, don't get mad, don't get mad. You know, I'm like, 
like, okay. But it, I dropped it outside. So like the shop to the house, like they have, anyway, I'm like, you dropped it. I was like, yeah, I dropped it and it hit a rock and a rock, but it was outside. That is so okay. <laughs> I've never been so happy. Like it's no big deal. No big deal at all. Cause it's like all cement. There's like even a pool there. To, anyway, I'm like, oh honey, that's not a problem. Cause I'm just envisioning the kitchen floor with, you know, a gallon of milk on it. <laughs> like a drop of light. I'm like, oh honey, that is just fine. <laughs> Hey, Sue, what about asking, um, uh, do you prefer to drink out of a glass? Uh, I call this a sippy cup or like a flip top or other. Give them options um, to know what they're going to be drinking out of. Yep. Or you got those, you know, wine glass. Lots of. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you know, how open. Yeah. Anyway. But I'm sure that's not the only thing that's built, but you kind of see what I'm saying, like what gets tracked in to your house or something like that about the floor too. So do you see what I'm saying? Like kind of think about life situations. People like to talk about themselves. If they can vision in their head, oh, I have that thing that would help with that thing in my life. Um, those kind of things. See what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> So yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank well you. done, ladies. Do we have both crafters back? Yeah, Kayleen's back. We're um, chatting. Kayleen, do you want to do the um, what was we were talking about? Simplify. Yeah, it was um, the first week of August to simplify your life week. That's the one. Okay, so tell me which products we're connecting that to. What are you going to focus on? There you go. Well, um, Kiwi Lane is pretty much the whole line is that. So that's why I was trying to break it down and maybe try to put some uh, bundles together instead of doing each individual thing. So just remember, if you overwhelm people with too many products, I mean, we, we sometimes only have one product, five uses, but then we have one problem, five solutions. So it can go either way. Just make sure that you change it up from week to week. You definitely wouldn't want to do bundles every week. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. So just keep that in mind as you're planning your whole month out. You can do bundles as long as you don't do bundles next week. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, and and for mine, I was thinking playing, kits. Oh, sorry. Yeah, kits. I was going to say kits, pre-cut stuff. Yeah, pre-cut. We've got craft with heart subscriptions for cards and scrapbooking. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I think we were talking about ways to make crafting easier. So I think with Kayleen, these bundles, instead of having to buy all your different things, you know, maybe themed bundles of some kind, whether it's tools, right. products, whatever. Right. Well, this is what happened. I'll just, I was trying to explain it to Lucy. I um, had bought a whole bunch of stuff before all of the Corona crap came along and for vending, because I do vending events. So I have all this product that I'm just sitting on and my husband's been furloughed so I got to get rid of it. <laughs> so I was thinking about buy this set, get this free and I will show them how to use it all week. Cool. Very cool. Just make it universal enough that like you can sell it to lots of different people and like not just people with babies or not just people like baseball. I mean, I'm not saying you do those two things. I'm just, you know what I mean? Using it. And what I kind of thought I might do is um, go based off of the national, the hol the national days, you know, so like do stuff for girlfriends and then do stuff like baking chocolate chip cookies if you've done that while you've been off with you know take pictures of that while you've been with your kids the last three months or if you had boats or you know i was trying to 
incorporate things that people may have done while they've been off. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's a cool idea. I think you definitely just do the basic holidays too. Um, just like finally getting, you know, can you imagine like, let's just make sure 2019 is in a book for you. You know what I mean? How quickly can you get, you know, hit one major theme for each month for the, um, for that kind of thing. Okay. And there's also um, National Bargain Hunting Week, which Kayleen, you could leverage, you know, for bargain hunters. When is that one? I didn't see it, Lucy. Yeah, it's a uh, National Bargain Hunting Week is the second week okay. of August. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to go jump on um, my daughter's online camp. Um, Ryan's going to take over and you're going to take a um, break until the top of the hour after you finish up and we'll come back. It'll be four o'clock my time. Um, anyway, go do your thing. I'm just going to shut myself down at Rihanna so it doesn't stop the recording, okay? Okay, so Crafters went, Poppin' Roxy went, Norwex went, Pampered Chef went, and Oils went. Marnie, did you go for 31 gifts? Okay, let's go. Um. I got the idea of girlfriends, but I wanted to concentrate on purses. Mm. So, cause we have a couple different ones. My questions are not the greatest, but this is the ones I came up with now. How often a year do you change your purse? Mm -hmm. And are you doing um, seasonally with each outfit or other? Or no, seasonally oh. with each outfit, do I have to change my purse or other? Seasonal, change with outfit. Do I have to change my purse or D, other? I have seen people that if they're going out, they change it with every outfit. It's incredible. Wow. <laughs> Bow down to them, right, people? <laughs> yeah. Oh I'll be honest, I do that because I, I like to carry a fancy purse to work and I like to carry a casual purse on the weekend. So I switch mine around a lot. But when you sell purses, that's what you can do, right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, well, and like if you go on a trip, you want to bring a different one for the airplane, like not, you know, your big grandma's bag, right? But then if you're going to be, you know, like on a cruise and stuff, like I bring a crossbody, like a, you know, a cocktail, mm -hmm. like you have a black one and, and a navy one, you know, so yeah. But I don't on a regular basis. I just change it twice a year. Twice a year. That makes for sense. myself. But I would ask those. Um, Vonda says as a teen, I change purses almost every day as well. Okay, what else do you ladies have? Um, are you a big bag girl or a small clutch girl? Okay. Or um, are you doing this or that or are you going to do or somewhere in between? Or this are you or that. Or you also could do a, with a gift, describe your purse size. Like, I bet someone would gift you an elephant. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Using a gift. Yeah. Describe your purse size. Describe your purse size. Something and then, else like, what would I put, like, the biggest purse we have? like a photo of the biggest purse that I we sell on that? Each. I would do a big honker and I would do like maybe the all about the Benjamins because honestly with the wristlet on it, that is a purse to me. Like I, yes. cause I can put my iPhone in the middle of it even. If y'all don't have their all about the Benjamins wallet, you have not lived. You need to contact Amanda or Marnie because this girl has three Rated of them. Wallet. <laughs> Must have. Be best. One other thing I just thought about too for girlfriends, uh, which not just the 31 gifts ladies, but the rest could also ask is, um, uh, what is uh, the most unusual thing your girlfriend, what is the most unusual thing you, you've seen your girlfriend pull out of her purse? Like, could be some pretty interesting things, you know? If they, and that would show you how well they know them. Thing your girlfriend. So I was pulled out of do her a, purse. Yes, Amanda. Do a this or that. I was gonna do like a this or that on are you a northwest purse style or a or a north, I'm sorry, north, north, south or east, west purse style. 
and people, mm-hmm. you know, some people like them tall, some people like them mm-hmm. wide. And gotcha. um, that helps me to know what they're looking for. Um, or gotcha. Yes. Very West. good. All right. What else you got with purses, ladies? Um, what what color purse are you? That doesn't even make sense now that I read it back to you. Like bright right. and colorful, right. neutral. So some of you know, I recently had my colors done by a Christian image consultant. And based on whether you are a cool or a deep or a neutral or whatever, so I'm a deep, there are certain purse colors that, that um, okay, there are certain purse colors that are recommended for me. So do you all know this, folks? Daryl, you can chime in too if you want, okay? On a scale of one to 10, how much do you agree that your purse color should match your hair color? Because that's what the Christian Image Consultant said is that your fallback for purses, folks, is always the, the natural color of your hair. So mine should always be brown. Well, guess what? Can't, I mean, other than a coach bag, which was like, you know, the khaki color with the darker letter C's on it, I can't tell you in my almost 52 years when I've ever had a brown purse. So it's kind of funny to think about that. But then when you see them put you all together, it really makes sense. So you would ask, does your purse match your hair color? You could. Well, but you could. I don't know if you want to, you know, you could if, your you, purse, if your purse matched your natural hair color, what color would your purse be? There you go. There you go, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you just ask the and other then, question, it's a yes or no. After that, underneath it, you would want to say, um, you know, have you ever heard this being recommended by an image consultant? You know, which are people that let you know what colors you should wear and what necklines and da 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 da. So yeah, you could ask, that would be that would be uh that that's I love how you worded that, Amanda. That's a good student right there. Yes. If your purse were to match your original hair color, what color would your purse be? And then I would put though underneath it that, you know, little tip. It's been recommended that your fallback purse color could always be your natural hair color. And I've never had red hair. My current purse is red, but that's one of my colors. You can definitely, yep, you can post it on your business page uh, in the evening. You can post it on your profile in the morning. Michelle has even experimented with posting things in two places, same post at the same time. And as long as she has gone back in and replied back to people and done the engagement, they've actually really done well. Yes. I can do that. All right, so that's- So what kind of question would, like, are you a bright or a neutral? I get the hair, but how, do, how could I ask? One of the questions we came up, uh, I don't know, in one of the Color last- or a new- I, I, I think it's more important to ask people, what is your pop color? We came up with that one. I don't know if it was last month, last month or the month before on here. Um, and, I, and I know for myself, I made an image for it with, for engagement, but I, you know, sometimes people like, like we just re- renovated our main floor and our accent color in our living room is, um, is a golden yellow now. Right, exactly. What is your pop or accent color? So the product that I'm going to put on there, would I put the brightest per- color purse that we have? So here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Not every post should have your product either. Right. Because if it looks like an ad and smells like an ad and sounds like an ad, it's an ad. Oh. So you don't even need to necessarily have that. But you could have a picture of... of um, you know, you could have an adorable picture of like my little Thory back here, my pet, laying, sunning himself in the chair, and I happen to have a 31 bag off to the side slightly, and it's more subtle. So I'm mm-hmm. saying, you know, more in real life pictures versus branded graphics from your home office. Mm-hmm. I do that a lot with the, the cats like to lay on the couch, which always yes. has, a 31, has a 31 pillow right behind him every time. Yep. Just magically, mm-hmm. which because I have like a thousand of them. That's probably why, but yep. um, exactly. Yeah. So the less you use what everyone else use, the less chance you'll get in Facebook jail. Yeah. Thank so God. with the pop of color, 
if I'm mm -hmm. not going to use one of my products, I don't have a pop of color in my house. It's cream and white. Um, <laughs> so just ask the question and don't put any photo with it. Oh no, you gotta have a photo. You, you would have something like we just said, something that could be in real life. Um, it could be their clothing because you have bags where they might buy, uh, you know, I mean, you might, if I tell you my pop of color is purple or red, you know, then we start having a conversation and then you get to that point, you know, with magic messaging, you know, do you have a quick minute that I may share with you a couple of really cool things that uh, you might like since your pop of color is red or purple or whatever it is. So, so could I post a selfie of me on my business page with a blue shirt on? Cause I love the color blue. That would be sure. my pop of color. Sure. Yep. 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 Doesn't necessarily have to be in their house. Yeah. All right. So you ladies have a bunch of ideas. Amanda, do you have any questions? Nope, we're good. I, I'm, I have a good one. I'm, I have one I'm saving for the when we talk lives because I've been okay. working on a Sounds live. Sounds good. To, Sounds good. Yeah. Perfect. And then I know oils happen because I heard Ningxia Red. Man, I've been out of that for a while. I really should get some more of that. It's so good. Brianna, you're muted. How in the world did that happen? Goodness gracious, that's crazy. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, so Melissa, is it just us left? Looking through all of the names here, just us left? Are you unmuting, hon? We were talking, we were talking underwear on the sidelines because National Underwear Day is coming up and uh, we previously have some questions from that, but for anyone else that might also be watching on the replay, um, bugs. Sorry, Some I'm of the trying to keep my dog from train pulling my computer off the table. Oh no! Yeah, Which one she was doing that. Goodness, <laughs> tangled in the cord. Oh shoot! <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot we had those from June. So yeah, we just need to make those images. Right, right, right. So I'll, I'll let's go ahead and say them out loud though, just if anyone else is watching it on the replay because they haven't seen our private messenger. Right. So we have, uh, why do you wear a thong? A, no visible lines, or we talking code word, NVL. Uh, B, to feel sexy. C, despise granny panties, or D, other. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how important is it to you that your bra and panties match? And, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Bless um, you. And then, well, how, how did I say that other one? I had a bunch of different words in the middle. I wasn't sure, trying to keep it positive. I think Are it was, which do you dread more, panty lines or a wedgie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had those. Um, so I think we have some good ones that we can go on there, Melissa. I think just for fun, because my mom and I talked about this again earlier today. Um, who remembers undies with the days of the week on it, ladies? Me. Okay. For real. For real. Okay. And so just for fun, because there is a, um, there is a gif out there with that. But we could just, just for engagement, you know, say me if you had these as a child. You know, and so remember, folks, yeah. not every post is to sell a product. Some of it is also to build up your engagement as well. Okie dokes. I'll write that one down too, Melissa. Yep. All right. I think we got everybody through the first time. It looks like we have about, about uh, 12 minutes. We're going to come back at the top. Yes, there are so many fun days in August just for engagement. What do you wear? Uh, let's see, Karen's got a comment. What would you wear? Everyday wear in the office, a night out around the house to make you feel pretty? Yes. <laughs> Thinking of themes, very good. 
All right, we are gonna go ahead and um, take a break until the top of the hour. So that means seven o'clock Eastern, six o'clock my time, Central, South Dakota Standard Time, because that's where all the cool people live, right? That's right. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't see my, um, the, the three dots. Okay, save chat. Save your chat. You. Uh -huh. yes. Don't forget to save the chat. Thank you, Roberta, for being my mind. Yes, yep. So go into the chat and then it says save chat if you want to get all those good ideas. Okie dokes. You had 60 seconds to find that. Tammy Crabtree, is your hair just growing? Yes, I can tell. Yes. I'm ready for another haircut. <laughs> Are you? My yes. mom was like, wow, you've got a ponytail in. That's <laughs> what happens when you don't see people since Christmas, right? <laughs> Excuse me, what if you don't have the option to save the chat because I'm trying to find that? Yeah, because it's a, it's because you're on a phone, hon. So maybe someone oh, else yeah. can send the file to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm finna set. I was out earlier. I, I apologize for that. And I yep. was in the road. So I just logged in from that. So. You bet. You bet. All right. We're going to click off so everybody can have 10 minutes. Water in, water out. Grab your snacks, whatever you need to do. We'll see you here at the top of the hour. And, um, and then if you're Pacific time zone, it would be four o'clock. All right. Did you, say six, did you say six central time? Six central. Okay. Seven All Eastern. Right. Yep. All so right. it's, it's 551. You have nine minutes. Go, go, go. I don't even know how to save it. <laughs> 